Now this is a uh, INAD uh, question number 22 based on typical problem category 12th. Now uh, before uh, you listen to the solution of this question, you uh, I suggest that you go first of all uh, go through solution of illustration 56th and 57th because in illustration 56th we derived a formula that we use in 57th and the knowledge of 57th we are going to use in this question so I have video posted for these two solutions so go through them first and then come back to this question again now this question is like we have to find sum of five digit numbers that can be formed with the help of these six digits now this question is not easy question it's a difficult question because we have to find sum of five digit numbers if we have to find sum of six digit numbers using these six digits then question would have been simple not not that difficult because as we have to choose take five digits from six digits we have to make these following cases make make of these following cases in case one we are we're taking five digits as like one of one zero or two zeros pair of zeros we take one zero and four of non-zero digits so sum of five digit numbers that can be formed with the help of these five digits will form in case one in case two we take this pair of zeros and then three non-zero digits and now three non-zero zero digits can be in can 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 come in four c three ways from four non-zero we can choose three non-zero in four c three ways so we'll have to make these four sub cases we need to make these cases separate because we have to find sum of digits and in sum of digits if digits are different sum will be different so so let's do case one first in case one uh, we have we take zero one zero and uh, four non zero digits this, this is almost same as illustration 57th sum of five digit numbers equals to total numbers that can be formed with the help of these five digits divided by the sum of the digits is divided by number of digits 5 sum of digits sum of place values now this is sum of five digit numbers plus sum of four digit numbers because we are taking zero as non-zero so when zero comes at first place so these numbers you can see are sum of f uh, these are four digit numbers so this includes this case these cases also so it is sum of five digit plus sum of four digit we subtract sum of four digit numbers that can be formed with the help of one two three four so we subtract that these contributions so four factorial total numbers that can be formed with the help of these four number of digits sum of digits and sum of place values as, as digits are 4 so we have 1 4 times right so sum of 5 digit numbers plus 4 digit numbers minus sum of 4 digit numbers now case 2 we'll do a part first number of numbers that can be formed with the help of 0 0 and 1 2 3 now we apply same formula sum of 5 digit numbers equals to assume 0 as non-zero so total numbers we can form is 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial this 2 factorial will come because you know uh, two digits are identical and you know when we have to order a a b we do it like this 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial because two digit two numbers are two letters are repeated so in this case total numbers that can be formed with the help of these five will be five factorial divided by two factorial because zero is repeated and then we divide by the number of digits five sum of digits sum of place values now this is sum of five digit numbers five digits plus sum of four digits because we're taking those cases where zero is at first place and we have zero two zero one three we have three zero one two goes on so this includes sum of four digit numbers also and plus sum of three digits also how come three digits because if first two digits are zero we had zero two times so first two are zero and then we have two one three three one two one two three goes on so th these numbers are also included in the sum 
Now from this sum we subtract sum of four digit numbers that can be formed with the help of one zero and one two three. So it is four factorial total numbers we can form assuming zero as non zero divided by number of digits four sum of the uh, digits sum of the place values. Now we are subtracting this from this. Now what is this? This is not just sum of four digit number, this sum of four digits plus sum of three digits. Why? Because this also includes those cases where we have zero at the first place and then we have two one three. Zero at the first place, three one two goes on. So now you can see case two A part again. This is uh, a sum of five digit numbers plus four digit plus three digits using uh, with the help of these five digits as two zero is two times so when zero is occurring uh, only one for the first time then it is four digit number when zero is not at the first place it is five digit number when one zero is at the first place four digit when we are two zeros ahead and just three digit numbers now from this we are subtracting this part the sum of four digit numbers that can be formed with the help of zero one two three four these four digits now this is not just sum of four digits sum of four digits plus sum of three digits so when you subtract sum of 5 plus 4 plus 3 minus sum of 4 plus 3 so definitely sum of 5 digit numbers now similarly you can repeat this idea for case B, C, D other three cases now see practically it is uh, not a right question to, to be asked in an exam because the time it is taking to solve so the practical question would have been sum of 6 digit numbers with the help of these 6 digits right? instead of sum of 5 digits so, so you can see the time will have to uh, write all the cases and then sum up all the cases so from understanding point of view it is fine